Namaste Kushra video. Today's topic is uh, of the practical is mixing of solids and mixing index means how to determine the mixing index. Now the question comes what is mixing index? So mixing index is nothing but it is a measurement of how far the mixing has proceeded toward equilibrium. And for the solids, in that I talk about powders, the granular solids, the mixing index is defined as nu e over s and this is equal to under root mu p you can see in the formula here bracket 1 minus mu p bracket capital n minus 1 divided by n summation so i to n x i minus x bar all square so this is a little bit tough however but this is the mixing index and that's how the mixing index will be measured now in this formula, if you see where mu p is the overall fraction by number of practical and uh, of, of the powder. If I am taking sand here, so I will say sand. And, uh, and capital N is the number of spot samples and small n is the number of particles in that sample and x is the fraction of sand in each spot sample and x is the average fraction of sand in all spot samples. So you can see it is very well written here that uh, the, the description of all the terms which uh, have been used in this formula for uh, measuring the mixing index and now if i come to the you know how i will perform the practical actually to determine and to, to mixing index and to take the readings so i would need a equipment a double cone mixture you can see the video which i recommended video i attached in my sessions uh, we need a double cone mixer and uh, the procedure is that we uh, you know first weigh certain amount of salt and sand and uh, you know uh, put it in the mixer and uh, uh, we have to fix the mixer speed and after five minutes of running we stop the mixer and take three five samples from different locations and then start running the mixer again and repeat the taking sample after five minutes 10 minutes 15 20 30 45 60 minutes and so forth so on up to 60 minutes at the interval of each tender I would be taking the samples and after taking those samples by using ion selective meter uh, you know that the weight uh, uh, of, sal of salt as well as sand in each sample how much that that can be find out that can be weight and uh, uh, I can vary the variables such as the speed of rotation moisture uh, uh, content of that solid and the relative amount of components in that solid powder uh, if I'm taking two so uh, yeah naturally I'm taking two so uh, that's how I can vary and can uh, you know take the readings and after taking the readings we can calculate the mixing index for each spot sample and we can draw even a graph of mixing index uh, you know against the variable selected like if I'm varying the speed if I'm varying the time if I'm varying the relative amount of components so that was all about this uh, determination of mixing index and uh, using a double cone mixture. If you have any question, you can write that in my comment box and I will answer that accordingly. Thank you very much.